everyone, this is Tiffany. Um, this is my very first YouTube video. I thought today I would show you something that everyone always asks me about, and it's a quick and easy braid. Now, I have really short hair, but I get compliments on this braid all the time, and it is the easiest thing. It is great for updos, uh, next day hair when your hair is just being crazy, or it's really great too if your hair is a little damp, put your hair in a braid like this and then take it out, and then it's a really cool kind of kinky wave look, which is really awesome. It's great on short hair, long hair, medium hair. It's actually great on any length of hair. If you've got curly hair, it's great. Crazier the better. It's just a really fun kind of rope kind of style braid, and I just thought I'd show you how to do it. It's really easy, and I'm going to share with you the secret to an easy, simple look that everyone thinks takes you a long time. Those are always the best. All right, so what you want to do is start with your hair. Um, usually dry. Uh, second day is always the best because your hair naturally just kind of braids easier. But if you actually do your hair, do braid your hair this way the, the same day that you wash it, just add a little bit of product just to kind of rough it up. Um, I have really fine hair so I like using a lot of product to make my hair actually stick or actually do what it's supposed to. Um, so I like to use, it's called um, Do Over Spray by Kevin Murphy. It's a mix between a dry shampoo and kind of like a dry wax, which just puts a lot of kind of grit and texture into your hair, which for any of you with fine hair know that that's a very hard thing to have. So I like to spray it kind of all over at the roots, kind of, and like not super close because that's how you end up with wet spots or greasy spots, and nobody likes that. And then also what I like to use is um, just a light hold hairspray. This is just so it actually sticks, and actually if you want to take this out afterwards and wear your hair kind of kinky, I find this stuff really helps. So just a nice light uh, hairspray just to kind of make your job easier. Anyways, what you want to do is um, part your hair the way you like to wear it, or the way you want to wear it with this braid. Um, I like to wear my hair all over to one side, especially when you have short hair. I think this looks really cute. Um, but what you want to do is take a section of your hair. Don't start right in the front because by the time the braid shows up, it's a little bit too further over or sorry, too far over, what you want to do is actually start a little bit further in the back. I like to almost start kind of at the back, near the front of crown of the head. So what you want to do is take a little section of hair here and split it into two. Um, what you want to do is take the part that's kind of closer to the middle of the head and bring it underneath. And then what you're going to do is just grab a little bit of hair from the front of it and bring it up. And then you're going to keep taking that hair and just bring it all the way up and over and just adding a small section at a time while you're doing this. You can see some's kind of falling out, but that's okay. Just kind of spread it out and then grab it in your next little section. This takes a little bit of practice, but honestly, I kind of came up with this one day when I was really hungover for hair school. But I've really, I've taught people how to do it and it's been really easy. So then you just take your parts and you just keep going. Just right through the front here. And once you get over to the corner, if anything starts getting a little messy, just don't be afraid to take your hand and just kind of smooth it out a little bit. And then once you kind of get to the point where you're done or don't have as much hair anymore, I like to just take it and do like a little bit of a twist. Alright, so what you want to do, this is probably my biggest thing, is take your bobby pin. And I like to actually open it and go back into the hair. I find that actually holds better and it looks nicer because you don't have the big ball you can sticking out the side of your head. So what you want to do is open it up, kind of like so. And then you just bring it back and you bring it, put a, push it back into the braid. So that way you can't even see it, but it's really sturdy in there. You don't have to worry about it falling out. If you have a loose um, bobby pin, which I know a lot of us do, we always end up with that one that we hate using. Take another one and actually just crisscross it doing the same thing. So open it up and bring it back in and then just kind of go down slightly into it. And that way it's kind of double secured in there and it's good to go. Now the most important thing when you're actually doing one of these braids or any of your braids is actually pull apart the braid. That's what makes it look so nice and actually it just looks more lived in and really sh shows off the way the braid looks. So what you want to do is just kind of pull the little sections apart. I always like just in the front because I find it gets a little bit small looking in the front. And yeah. So as you can see, it's just a nice kind of cool textured rope braid and I think it looks great in it. 